Today, a community paid their respects to a fallen firefighter. Firefighter Charles Chuck McCormick died trying to put out a house fire on Sunday. McCormick leaves behind a wife and three young children. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling shows us the outpouring of support at his funeral. On a cold, snowy Saturday morning, many paid their respects to Chuck McCormick inside the Abundant Life Baptist Church in Lee Summit. Flags at half staff, the parking lot full of first responders. Meanwhile, those in McCormick's town of Raymore waited patiently in the freezing weather for the procession following the service. I just wanted to show my support for the first responders that we have in our community. Sherman Wofford sat in a chair holding the American flag with his dog Chester in his lap. He's part of our community in that, and I mean, people around here know him in that, and I mean, what a loss of uh, a life that did so much good for our community. The procession went along 58 Highway in the heart of Raymore. A line of fire trucks from across the metro as people stood in silence. We want to be able to support our local community, our, our friends, our family, our um, rescue workers. The procession route went right in front of where McCormick used to work, the South Metro Fire Protection District. Standing outside were a lot of former firefighters. You definitely know the dangers you're going into, but you also know the rewards that come from the job. Morgan Oswald knows the dangers of the job well. It always crosses your mind no matter what. He wanted to be there to honor McCormick. Just thought I'd come out and give my respects to my fallen brother. Many in mourning, honored to show up on this wintry Saturday for our community's fallen hero, husband and father. I was actually shocked to see as many people out here. Very cool to see all the American flags out here. It just shows the sense of community that we have in the area. Reporting in Raymore, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.